Continuing with that, the Dudula movement is threatening to shut down Alexandra Township for the rest of the week. The organization wants to drive out undocumented foreigners to claim back the township's economy. Most of the foreign-owned shops haven't been stable, able rather, to trade in the area since violence broke out between themselves and Dudula members. ENCA reporter Govan Whittles is there to give us an update on the situation. Govan, police say they have everything under control in Alexandra. Is that the case? That is the case, Masekho, and most of the shops have now reopened, particularly the Spaza shops. Um, some of them still remain closed. Behind me, you'll see these row of containers they used by informal traders. This is where most of the action went down yesterday. And these are mostly closed, but just down the road, the others have started to open now. It does look like the increased police presence has reassured some of the informal traders, as well as those in the traditional shops, uh, to reopen. But they're not convinced just yet. Since the last time we spoke, there's been one person who's been taken taken into custody by the police. It seems that he may have tried to close um, an informal trader shop, um, but the police managed to get him just in time. They put him in the van a short while ago. Let's listen to the district commissioner, uh, Mr. Max Mashaba, about what they're doing here today and uh, why they believe they have the situation under control. I remember their call yesterday, nothing has changed. Their call yesterday was that uh, people must stay away and, and that is stand, that's supposed to happen and that is not happening. We are on the ground, like you heard earlier, they did try to put up some tasks here and there, but our numbers are just uh, outnumbering them. So it's making it difficult for them, even if they wanted to, they are not doing anything. So we are not aware of any other new information. So, Govan, we hearing of threats of a total shutdown in Alexandra. What's the community saying? Are they supporting this? No, the community is not supporting the shutdown. It's become clear that the Alexandra Dudula movement is only just a handful of people, a dozen people that are leading it and trying to agitate others into blocking the roads and closing down the informal traders. Um, but the police have commended the community in Alexandra for not heeding that call, for continuing uh, as normal this morning and for helping clear the roads when one of them was blocked in the early hours. Let's listen again to the district commissioner. The community is not supporting this call of stay away. The community wants to continue with their life. The community doesn't want to support lawlessness. They want to support law and order. So therefore, the, the, in, is, this takes is as they drive around. If they come there before the police, they remove before the police came. So there's a greater collaboration today between the taxis and the police. And the informal traders, Govan, what are they telling you about the whole situation? Different stories coming from different traders, depending on where they're from. We managed to speak to a South African informal trader. It's interesting here, because she says the Didula movement has essentially uh, robbed her of uh, any, any ability to trade uh, for three weeks now. And she says that yesterday's chaos left her unable to make any money, and it does have a serious impact on her and her household. Let's have a listen. I'm not a foreigner. I'm South African. I lose everything. The, if, too much the credit, too much everything. The scholar, even in, the, in my room, there's no electricity, no money to buy the paraffin. There's a problem. There's a problem. Because so what are you I'm, going to do now? I, I don't know what's happened. I need the police to solve this problem because I'm not a foreigner, but I need to work because I'm starting work in Alexander in 1994.